Okay, good day. And in this lecture, we will be studying about refrigeration and heat pump system. So this is chapter 10 of the reference book by Shapiro and Moran. Okay, so refrigeration systems are very useful in food preservation and air conditioning. Also, play a huge role in our lives. So, uh, in today's lecture, we will be studying how to model uh, common refrigeration systems as well as discuss the various methods used and also we will study about heat pump systems. Okay, so uh, before we proceed with the uh, vapor refrigeration system, uh, we'll first study the Carnot refrigeration cycle because this is the ideal or this is the theoretical limit for any cycle. So the main purpose of a refrigeration system is to maintain a cold region at a temperature below the temperature of its surroundings. Okay, so uh, this is very useful in uh maintaining or preserving our food and also in uh maintaining our buildings in a comfortable temperature also in making of ice okay so the carnot refrigeration cycle is uh just the opposite of the cardo power cycle okay so the main objective is to maintain this cold region so this is the carno vapor refrigeration cycle we have four components we have the evaporator compressor condenser and a turbine okay so these processes are ideal and uh, the processes in the compressor and turbines occur at isentropic isentropically. Okay. So the processes involved first uh, the refrigerant enters the evaporator. So this is the evaporator at state four. So the state four is a two phase mixture. And in the evaporator, some of the refrigerant changes from liquid to vapor as a result of heat transfer from the region at temperature TC to the refrigerant. Okay, so the evaporator represents the organic cold region. Mo uh, ni ang component no kanang putangani mo o food or any beverages baka or fruits and veg vegetables that you want to maintain at temperature T sub C. Good morning, anong inabutangan na to o mga uh, pagkaon. Okay, so ang heat na uh, contain sa imong food, mo to ay transfer o heat into the kining imo ang refrigerant. So ang refrigerant nimo, no, dali siya mo evaporate, no? Mo na isa saya ang isa saya ang qualities. No? So dali siya mo evaporate. And uh, as a result of heat transfer from the region, the temperature and pressure of the refrigerant remain constant during the process from 4 to 1 okay so wala na siya kay nag change of phase ra na siya no? so latent heat nag release sa latent heat of vaporization so at point 1 the refrigerant is then compressed uh, into state 2 okay 
sa state to this is uh, saturated vapor okay so pag agi sa refrigerant sa compressor nimo ang um, imong compressor yan nagi compress ang imo ang refrigerant so in result mo increase ang pressure mo increase ang temperature okay so during this process the temperature of the refrigerant increases from T sub C to T sub H and the pressure also increases. Then after the state 2, magi karoon ang imo ang refrigerant to state 3 wherein the uh, refrigerant returns to its to the state ano na uh, where it changes from saturated vapor to saturated liquid. Okay? At temperature T sub H. So, ang um, refrigerant, uh, refrigerant mo at saturated vapor uh, mag-release na ang imo condenser, i-release niya ang heat into the uh, surrounding environment. As a result, mo change of phase ang mo ang uh, mo ang refrigerant into saturated liquid okay the refrigerant returns to the state at the inlet of the evaporator by expanding adiabatically through a turbine okay so mo expand adiabatically so in this process from 3 to 4, the temperature decreases from TH to T sub C. And there is a decrease in pressure. Okay? So, since ang imo ang ang kernel vapor refrigeration cycle is composed of internally reversible processes, so ang can it really can be interpreted as no kaning area diri under sa imo ang under ning imo ang curve okay so ang um, area 1ab41 1ab41 mo ni ang mo ni siya ang heat added to the refrigerant from the cold region per unit of mass okay so, so mo ni ang heat nagikan sa imo ang mga pagkaon. Ang area 2AB32, 2AB32, mao ni siya ang heat rejected from the refrigerant to the warm region. And the one area 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 represents the net heat transfer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 is the net heat transfer. No? Ang difference ay mo ang Q out o Q in. Okay? So, kung apply na yung energy balance, uh, that would be equal to the net work done on the refrigerant. Now, ang imo ang refrigeration cycle is uh, evaluated using the coefficient of performance uh, beta. So, this is just the ratio of the refrigeration effect so refrigeration effect ni Q ini mo over the network so ang network is compressor work compressor minus work turbine so this is just equal to T sub C over T H minus T C okay so this is the coefficient of performance of any of the Carno vapor refrigeration cycle. Okay, so T sub C over TH minus TC. Okay, so departures from the Carno cycle in the vapor uh, refrigeration cycle. So one of the departures is this one at point one. So in actual refrigeration cycle this is what you call the wet compression meaning you are compressing both liquid and gas 
or liquid and vapor so this is uh this have detrimental effects sa imong compressor no so madawat imong compressor ani so in actual compress compression compression systems uh gina paabot din sa saturation vapor either saturated vapor or superheated para to eliminate the liquid no liquid nga compression wet compression another departures from the actual Karno cycle is this one uh, the uh, for the Karno refrigeration cycle ang heat transfer of course at constant temperature but in actual ang uh, imong cold region mas is mas higher no so dapat ang imo ang refrigeration nga vapor or ba uh, temperature sa imo ang refrigerant at point 1 must be must be lower than the kanang sa ko animo cabin nga temperature para na apay heat transfer ng upor right and also for the compressed condenser since uh, ang iyang purpose is to uh, discharge the heat transfer into the environment so dapat mas taas siya sa temperature sa imong ambient para na heat transfer ng upor so ang effect ana mo lower ang iya ang if it, uh, coefficient of performance Okay. And also, another one is in actual uh, refrigeration system, wala na yung turbine. Ang kaning turbine is kaning turbine is replaced with an expansion valve. Nga naman, okay? Gamay ra makag ma extract ng work ani good. So, gilis na lang siya o oh, uh, function bulb. Okay. So, this is the vapor compression refrigeration system. Okay. So, ang gatong turbine mo is replaced with an expansion bulb. And the rest of the components are just the same. So let us analyze the uh, work and heat transfer sa imo ang processes sa imo vapor compression refrigeration system. So ang QE ni mo dere, dere. QE would be plain mo energy balance. So you have H1 minus H4. So this is uh, heat transfer per unit mass. Or wherein, ang yung kaning QE ni mo is referred to as refrigeration capacity, no? Kung uh, sa problem later on, kung pangyuan mo, what is the refrigeration capacity, kanira yung may compute QE in. Usually, ang unit ana niya is in kilowatts. Or also, uh, usually, usual po sa market, is ginagamit, uh, ginagamit is tons of refrigeration. We're in 1 ton of refrigeration is equal to 211 kilojoule per minute. Okay, for the refrigerant that leaves the evaporator, this will uh, be compressed by a compressor. And the work that needs to be supplied in the compressor is just H2 minus H1. You can get this one by applying the energy balance. After the compressor, it will pass through the condenser and we're in the, the heat from the refrigerant will be transferred into the surroundings. So the heat transfer would be H2 minus H3. Finally, the refrigerant at state 3 enters the expansion bulb and the process is modeled as a throttling process. Therefore, H 3 will just equal H4. 
So in the uh, expansion valve, the refrigerant pressure decreases. So this is a uh, irreversible process. So there will be an accompanying increase in specific entropy. So the refrigerant exits the valve at state four as a two-phase liquid vapor mixture. So the uh, refrigerating uh, coefficient of performance beta is just equal to Q in over the work compressor because there is no turbine. No? So it's just equal to H1 minus H4 over H2 minus H1. Okay, so if we plot those processes in a this diagram, this will be the result. You have 1, 2S, 3, and 4. So this is the compression process, process 1 to 2S. It transfer to the environment. 3 to 4 is the throttling process, and process 4 to 1 is the heat uh, absorption. Okay, so process 1 to 2 is, is its entropic compression. Process 2 is to 3 is heat transfer from the refrigerant, so as what I have mentioned. So, uh, all these processes uh, in the above cycle are internally reversible except for the routing process. So this is what we call the ideal vapor compression cycle. So, ideal vapor compression cycle. So, morning usually nga ginagamit sa ibang mga common na at household refrigerators. Okay? And even mga air conditioners. So, we'll have an example later on. For the actual cycle, ang uh, difference na niya, so this is the actual no ang imo ang uh, as I mentioned ang temperature sa imo refrigerant in the uh, i compare nimo sa cold region mas ubos yud ang dapat ang sa refrigerant nimo and also for the condenser nga side dapat mas taas ang temperature sa imo ang mong refrigerant kay kaning difference ani nila mo ni ang imong heat transfer Okay, so and also uh, the compression process is not isentropic, therefore, na increase in entropy. Okay, so makuha na ni mo by okay, what you call the isentropic compressor efficiency. So, this is the difference between the isentropic compression and the actual compression. So value n is less than 1. So, h sub 2s minus h1 over h2 minus h1. Okay, so let's proceed with cascade and multi-stage vapor compression systems. Okay, so... Combined cycle arrangements for refrigeration are called cascade. So this is an example of a cascade system. No, so one is a cycle. You have cycle A, cycle B, and the um, connection nila is na like intermediate ex heat exchanger. So uh, for a cascade system, morning and kaniyang Q and morning mong iba ah. Uh, uh, refrigerating effect no morning ka nang it transfer from the kanang sa imong mga food to the uh, refrigerant nimo so na kay duha ka compressor compressor A and B so ang uh, Q out sa A mo ang Q in sa cycle B now if you want to evaluate the uh, coefficient of performance, it is just ang target ni mong effect, which is refrigeration effect Q in over canning work sa compressor A and B. Okay, so uh, 
ah uh, kasi pwede nga lahi-lahi ni Ohm refrigerant no ang cycle A and B pwede na siya ang advantage niya is dili kinanglan nga uh, same slow refrigerant therefore makapili ka og refrigerant nga suited ani nga cycle so usually ang kinanglan sa mga refrigerant is dili kayo siya bus og og temperature dere sa may evaporator side para mataas ang iyang coefficient of performance no Okay, kung ubos kayo siya, mababa man mo ang coefficient of performance. And also, dere, uh, makapili ka o refrigerant dere nga. Dili po kayo mutaas ang temperature during compression. No? Okay, again, ma-affected ang imuang coefficient of performance. Ana. So, ang significant feature of the cascade system is that the refrigerant in the two or more stages can be selected to have reasonable evaporator and condenser pressures. So in the double cascade system, our refrigerant would be selected for cycle A that has a saturation pressure temperature relationship that allows refrigeration at relatively low temperature without excessively low evaporator pressures. Oh. Okay, let's proceed with multi-stage compression with intercooling. So the advantage of multi-stage compression with intercooling have been cited in gas power systems. So intercooling is achieved in gas power systems by heat transfer to the lower temperature surroundings. So in the refrigeration system, lahi po nang pamagyan na. Ang gamit siya og flash chamber. So mao ni siya no ang imo ang ang imong aktwa uh, ang imo ang uh, process no compression process kung walay uh, walay multi stage nga compression is kani from 1 to A. So kung naa na kay multi stage compression so may mo ng 1 2 3 4 so katipid gani nga amount of work. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 7, 8. Okay? So, intercooling is accomplished but in the cycle by means of direct contact heat exchanger. So, can it direct contact heat exchanger? So, the relatively low temperature saturated vapor enters the heat exchanger. So, can it? No, so gikan sa 6, 5, 6, dayon mo interact siya, ah, imo, sa imong flush chamber. So sa flush chamber, imong gi-separate ang, uh, with, imong gi-separate ang, ang vapor o ang liquid. So a single mixed stream exits the heat exchanger. So, Ang kaning imong process 2, 2 and 3, kani, ang 2 o 9, so mag-mix sila, 2 o 9, mag-mix. So, ang result anak nila, kani na yung state 3. Okay? So, less work is required per unit of mass flow for compression from 1 to 2, followed by compression from 3 to 4. Since the refrigerant temperature entering the condenser at state 4 is lower than for single states of compression with the refrigerant wood, the external reversibility as sheet with heat transfer in the condenser is also reduced. No? So, uh, ang imo ang, no, kung single states ng compression, so taas ka imo ang condenser pressure dere. Compared dere. Oh. So, Central role is played by a liquid vapor separator called a flash chamber. So, refrigerant exiting the condenser at state 5 expands through a valve and enters the flash chamber at 6 to face liquid vapor mixture with quality X in the flash chamber. 
Kung sa'yo nahitabo na sa flush chamber, so in a flush chamber, the liquid and vapor components separate into two streams. So, kanin mo na yung vapor, mo na yung liquid. So, so, saturated liquid exiting the flush chamber at state 7 expands to a secondary bulb into the evaporator. Okay, so muna siya ang cascade o multi-stage compression. We have also the absorption refrigeration uh, system. So, absorption refrigeration cycles consist of uh, basically the same uh, components. Ang difference lang niya is wala siya gamit o compressor. So, ang um, compression process is replaced by man. It is replaced instead of compressing a vapor between the evaporator and the condenser. So, on sa buhat, the refrigerant of absorption system is absorbed by secondary substance. No, so ang ang imo refrigerant is gi absorb or turn into liquid by an absorbent. So the liquid solution is pumped to the higher pressure. The purpose no nga turns out to liquid so mas gamay imong work na gi input because the average specific volume of liquid solution is much less than the of the refrigerant vapor significantly less work is required. Accordingly absorption refrigeration systems had advantage of relatively relatively small work input compared to vapor compression systems. So ang poor man ano niya is kani muna siya example sa absorption refrigeration na so kaninga side mo ni the same raman sa vapor compression gilis din lang og ani more compressor ni mo ni so naa kay absorber pump bulb generator okay so the other main difference between absorption and vapor compression is that some means must be introduced in absorption refrigeration system to retrieve the refrigerant vapor from liquid solution this involves heat transfer from relatively high temperature source so so ang process na hitabuan is okay the same sa imo ang <coughs> vapor compression ang imo ang two phase liquid mixture mo solid sa evaporator so mo absorb na siya heat so mo gawas na siya diri nga vapor Pag gawas na yung vapor, uh, imo na siyang i-mix with sa imo ang absorber, no? I-mix na yung sa imo ang absorber. So, ma-enter, marahin mo na siyang liquid. So, pag in liquid form, gipump ni mo na siya, no? To, to increase the pressure, pump ni mo pa doon sa generator. So, sa generator, mag-introduce ka og high temperature sa purpose para mo vaporize tong imo refrigerant no mo vaporize so pag vaporize ato ang mga vapor mo sulod dire condenser ang liquid nga portion man ay mga gitaw weak solution mo agi sa imong valve pabalik sa imong absorber okay so in the absorber ammonia vapor coming from evaporator state one, state one is absorbed by liquid water the formation of this liquid solution is exothermic so, exothermic tayo ang process de rin, no? So, pag absorb sa absorber sa sample, ganing ammonia water. Ang ammonia, ammonia mo refrigerant. So, ammonia is absorbed by water. So, mag-release na karoon ng heat. Kaya, exothermic process man. So, to maintain the temperature aning absorber ni mo, kay uh, nisari man po niya, kaya mo taas ang temperature na mag-introduce ka o pulling water para mag-bugnaw. No? Pag bug na ang ana, may kuha na rin i-pump na dayon. So, since the amount of ammonia, so, so ang ammonia ko nang ma-dissolve in water increases as the solution temperature decreases. No? So, kung magkagamay na ng temperature dire sa imong absorber, 
mas daghan daw nga ammonia ang madissolve sa water. Okay, water is circulated around the absorber to remove the energy release. The strong ammonia water solution leaves the absorber at point A and enters the pump. Where its pressure is increased to that of the generator. So sa generator ni mo, dere, heat transfer from a high temperature source drives ammonia vapor out of the solution. Okay, so dere, sa generator ni mo, mag-introduce ka of heat, no? Pwede na sa solar, pwede mga renewable resources. Pwede ka ng mga waste heat. Pwede ni mo gamiton dere. Pampainit dere sa solution. Okay. However, cost associated with the heat source and extra equipment not required by vapor compression systems can cancel the advantage of smaller work input. Diba? Gayun ta nga, small ang imo ang in work na input sa mga pump. But you need also to consider kaning mga additional ng equipment kung mas economical ba niya as compared sa mga vapor compression systems. Okay. So, other types of modifications sa mga ammonia water absorption system na kay rectifier. Dari, rectifier. So, ang purpose ano niya is para gamay na lang ka o Ano? Ang kani? This is the rectifier. So, ang rectifier, ang purpose ano niya is para uh, place between generator and condenser. So, to remove any tra traces of water. Okay, so, di ba, kaya na may water dari nga part. So, eh, kung naamanggoy water po dari, pag abot ana niya dari, di pag expand na mo plug mo ang pipe okay may mo nang ice no so dapat walay water nga makasulod dere tumuon so, ang na ay rectifier okay so kaning heat exchanger po nya gibutang dere sa pump og sa dere before sa bulb nimo purpose po da na is kay medyo Medyo init man eh. Medyo init man eh. Uh, gani, gani. Uh, okay, so. At kay heat exchanger, ang purpose pa din niya is to preheat na. Kani, i-preheat ni mo ning uh, solution dari. No, i-preheat ni mo ni siya para gamay na lang kag-supply nga uh, stern uh, heat source refuge. okay so let's proceed with uh, heat pump systems uh, basically ang imong heat pump system is ang function niya is the same sa just the same sa imo ang refrigeration cycle although Ang difference lang niya is ang objective of a heat pump is to maintain the temperature within a dwelling or other building above the temperature of the surroundings or to provide heat. No? Yung in, painit ang yung gawa na ni. Object. Okay? So, let's proceed with Carno heat pump cycle. So, sa Carno heat pump cycle, Figure 10.1. Okay, so. The same, although, the same ramang kunin sa sayo mo ang refrigeration cycle. Tumbali ka ng 10 point. Figure 10.1. Okay, kani. Carno heat pump system. Ang Carno heat pump system, basically, hinanirage ako, but ang objective ni mo is kanin ang imo ang desired output, no? 
kanina kay di ba init man siya so mo na ibuga ni mas yung building dili na kani basically more na sa difference nila for eight six okay so um uh, karno heat pump cycle q out is equal to q in plus work net so ang coefficient of performance ni mo gamma for any heat pump cycle is Unsa tong desired effect ni mo, di ba? Ang init ni portion. So, ang Q out divided by the compressor work minus turbine work. Di ba? Kaya sa car no nga heat pump na aman to'y compressor na apoy turbine. So, it will just be equal to T sub H over TH minus TC. Okay? So, ah, uh, Again, tumun sa analysis na to sa car ng refrigeration, ma-apply rin po sa car ng heat pump. It's just nga, ang Q out na nga to ang desired result karon. So, vapor compression heat pumps. Let's proceed with vapor compression heat pumps. So, kani. Di ba? So, what you observe, kung refrigerator ka, kani mo ang gusto. Kani, Q in. Pero kung heat pump ka, Kani imong gusto nga ibuga ni mo sa imo ang balay. Okay so usually sa mga western countries no mo nangangilang mga air conditioner ilarang i reverse no. Di ba kay kani ra man kani man kung kung summer ka kani imong gusto nga ipa ipatubang ni mo dere pero kung winter na pod ang condenser na pwede mong gusto ng ipatubang dere. So, di, para di na ka magbali-bali, murang kani, gamit ra ka ani. Nara kay valve dere, no? Para sa may purpose. Para kung gusto kag heating mode, ah, uh, no, cooling mode ka na. So, agi ka sa ani, ah, uh, outside heat exchanger, condenser ni mo, Expansion bulb, evaporator, ana. Kung gusto na po ka nga, imuun na po siyang for heating mode, kung painit yung mong gusto, so ana na po ka dari. Okay, so for vapor compression uh, heat pump system, your coefficient of performance will be just Q out over work compressor, okay? Wala mo kay turbine na to. Ibo mo itong gills din o expansion valve. So, it will be just equal to H2 minus H3 over H2 minus H1. Okay, so, same run na siya o analysis time on vapor compression. Let's proceed with gas refrigeration system. So, sa so gas refrigeration system, uh, this is just the reverse Brighton cycle, no? So, kung ay, what you observe, this is just the constant pressure, constant entropy. This is just the Brighton cycle. So, ang arrow lang ang na, difference ani. No, imorangi reverse. Okay, so, naakay. Compressor, heat exchanger, turbine. So the Brighton refrigeration cycle is the reverse of closed Brighton power cycle. So in order to analyze this process, the work compressor is just H2 minus H1, kani. And then work turbine is just H3 minus H4. Ang QN ni mo, QN ka ni, H1 minus H4. Therefore, the coefficient of performance is just QN over work compressor minus work turbine is just equal to H1 minus H4 over H2 minus H1 minus uh, H3 minus H4. Okay. So, um,
Okay, so kung magbutang ka or regenerative hit exchanger. Okay, so generation mo butang ka ani. Anyway, so uh, sa may application aning gas medyo sa may mas taas man siya o mas mahal man siya actually no ang gas pero ang ang application ani niya kay ang imo ang usually ang imo ang vapor compression cycle kay dili makaabot og ubos kay nga temperature no so muna magamit ka ning gas refrigeration systems so ang application sa gas refrigeration system is they are used to achieve very low temperatures no kan mga cryogenic so liquefaction of air and other gases Okay, dili naman na maabot sa yung vapor compression systems. Okay, so uh, let's have an example later on. Okay, let's have this example. Example 10.1 wherein you have a refrigerant 134A is a working fluid in an ideal Vapor compression refrigeration cycle that communicates thermally with a cold region at 0 degrees Celsius and a warm region at 26 degrees Celsius. Now, saturated vapor enters the compressor at 0 degrees Celsius. And saturated liquid leaves the condenser at 26 degrees Celsius. So the mass flow rate of the refrigerant is 0 0.08 kilograms per second. To determine the compressor power in kilowatts, the refrigeration capacity in tons, the coefficient of performance, the coefficient of performance of a Carnot refrigeration cycle operating between warm and cold regions at 26 and 0 degrees Celsius respectively. So this is the system. You have a warm region temperature, 26 degrees Celsius, cold region temperature of 0 degrees Celsius, at uh, point one, this is saturated vapor, and such a, at point three, saturated liquid. Okay, so let's draw first the TS diagram. Okay, so this is point one, and then this is ideal. So your point. Two is somewhere here. Okay. So this is two S, and then stated in the problem, saturated liquid ang state three, and this is the throttling process. Okay, four. Okay, so. The first thing that we need to do is to determine the uh, determine the enthalpy values of different states. Uh, state one, H one is just you can get from the table A to ten. So for saturated vapor, now uh, saturated vapor at zero degrees Celsius so this is zero degrees Celsius this is twenty six okay so based on the table H one is two four seven point twenty three kilojoule per kilogram okay and S one is Point nine one nine kilojoule per kilogram kilobin. Okay, so state to, makuha ni mga state to because 
S2 is equal to S1. 0.919 Okay So, nangita na lang kakaroon of another property Okay, the pressure at state 2 is a triton pressure which is 6.853 bar Okay Makuha ni mga state to using Okay, so ang state to makuha ni mo uh, you get the pressure at point 2 ang pressure sa point 2 is corresponds to ganing 26 degrees Celsius so it is equal to 6.2 853 bar. Okay? So, using aning doha ka property uh, in the superheated table, you uh, do double interpolation, you will get H2 is equal to 264.5 to And then H3, that is saturated liquid at 26 degrees Celsius. So it's a table is equal to 85.75 kilojoule per kilogram. And for a throttling process, it is just equal to H4. So, makuha na ni mo karoon ng pagkita ni mga compressor power. So, that is just kung na nang i-reason na. Compressor power just equal to m dot H2 minus H1. Where in yung yung refrigerant is 0 0.08 kilograms per second. 264.7 minus 0.98. Kilogram of answer and it will be 1.4 kilowatt. Okay, letter B. Refrigeration capacity. Ang refrigeration capacity is and me. Uh, this is H1 minus H4. Ang Q in mo. Right, so M dot point zero eight kilograms per second. Ah, uh, H one is two four seven point two three minus eighty five point seventy five. The unit niya is tons. No, so ang tons is one ton is two hundred eleven kilojoule per minute. Mukansil na ang kilogram, kilogram, kilojoule, kilojoule. Ani na lang minute o second so ang sixty seconds one minute. Mukansil na lang ni. Eh. Tans na lang ang mamili na. Therefore, so just equal to 3.67 tans. Okay. And then, coefficient of performance. 
Ang imong coefficient of performance is the uh, Q in over work compressor. Okay, so this is just equal to H1 minus H4 over H2 minus H1. Kapila ang H1, 2, 4, 7. Over plus 4 minus 2, 4, 7. Plus the opinion mo would be 9.24 okay. Lastly, COP of Carno Okay, so this is just equal to T sub C T H minus T sub C So dapat ang imo ang Temperatures must be in Kelvin So 26 Plus 273 I don't know. TH is 26 plus 273 299 Kelvin. Right? And then T sub C is 0 plus 273 273 Kelvin. Okay, therefore, this is equal to 273 099 minus 273. The answer ani is 10.5. Okay, so dapat since Carno man eh, dapat mas dako na siya compare sa actual or sa vapor compression. Okay, so there are many problems sa book. Uh, just go with, with the sample problems, no?